Righteous Zealot. Is it any good? How is it going, fellow gamers? For this video, I am back on Project Ascension to try out the Righteous Zealot Legendary Enchant starting here in Northshire Abbey at level 1. But, before we get into the gameplay, allow for me to show you what the Righteous Zealot Legendary Enchant looks like. With the Righteous Zealot Legendary Enchant equipped, our damaging abilities have a chance to smite our target, dealing additional holy damage as well as healing nearby party members for a small amount. The healing and damage effects provided by Righteous Zealot will scale with the rank of our smite ability, meaning the higher rank of our smite might the more damage and healing you will do. Furthermore, the effects of this enchant are reduced by 80% in PvP, making it a PvE-only enchant for the most part. To start, we're going to pick our main stat, and with this being a healing first, damage second build, we're going to go with Spirit, of course, for the time being. As for the abilities that we're going to want to draft, we will start off with Consecration, as with Emanating Light and Holy Ground, it is going to be extremely useful. Next, we grab Life Tap as a form of mana management as we leveled. Third, we grab Smite as our legendary enchant would not work without it. And lastly, we grab Charge so that we can use it as a means of staying with our group, as you can see here on the screen. Next, we jumped right into the skill cards, first carding Holy Nova, then carding Innervate. Holy Nova is going to be an extremely important ability on the rotation we're going to be using for the Battle Priest, so carding it early is going to be extremely important. As for Innervate, this is going to be used as a form of mana management in the future, Innervate being my favorite tool for mana regen on Ascension at the moment. As for Golden Skill Cards, as you can see, we only have four, choosing Flash Heal so that we had a guaranteed heal to draft from in the future, as well as Prayer of Healing, as Prayer of Healing will be required for the Epic Enchant, Prayer of the Penitent, an enchant slash ability we will need while using this build for it to be as effective as possible. Next, we did our lucky cards, carding Pendant, Earth Living Weapon, and Power Infusion. Penance is going to be required for one of the epic enchants we will be using in Prayers of the Penitent, again an enchant slash ability we will need for this build. As for Earth Living Weapon, this ability just provides for us bonus heals, something that is always appreciated. And lastly, Power Infusion, which is a cooldown we can use which increases our casting time by 20% while also reducing the monarch cost of our abilities by 20%. Unfortunately, as you guys see, I had zero golden lucky cards to use, so I left that empty. Now, let's get into the epic enchants we used for this build. The first epic enchant that we're going to want to use for this build is the most simple, with that being Emanating Light. All Emanating Light is going to do is turn our Consecration ability into Emanate, which is Consecration, but it moves with you, making Consecration no longer stationary. This is going to be important as it is a constant form of damage which will result in bonus damage and heals for allies being provided by our Righteous Zealot enchant. As with Righteous Zealot, damaging abilities have a chance to smite the targets being hit, dealing additional damage damage and healing allies for a small amount around the attack. Second for epics, we picked up Holy Ground so that our new ability, Emanate, will increase the heals received by our party members when they are in it by 5%, as well as making it so that direct heals casted on allies within the Consecration slash Emanate will radiate 5% of the healing done to 5 nearby allies within the Emanate. This enchant will make it so that bonus heals from Righteous Zealot are increased by 5%, as well as making it so that other heals on the tank will also heal allies within the area. Furthermore, with Emanating Light, Holy Ground, and Holy Nova as well as Smite, we will be doing great amounts of damage, resulting in great amounts of heals. Lastly, we picked up Prayers of the Penitent, which is going to make it so that using Prayer of Healing after Penance will result in a wave of Penance Strikes hitting up to four nearby enemies, dealing additional damage and directly resulting in bonus heals for our allies, which are again increased by 5% when they are within our Emanate slash Consecration. As for the rare enchants with this build, I went with first Improved Life Tap times 3, which could easily be treaded out assuming you were able to roll some good Good forms of mana management, unlike me, which was just a safety net in terms of mana management, an issue which is easily circumvented by this enchant from my experiences, I had very little mana issues. Second for rares, I used Divine Protection times 3 as it increased the amount healed when using Circle of Healing, Greater Heal, Halo, and Prayer of Mending. Pretty lit. Third for rares, we used Fierce Divine times 3 to increase our spell power by 9% of our spirit. With our spirit being quite high, this enchant is very effective. Fourth, we used Improved Healing times 3, which made it so that the mana cost of Renew, Greater Heal, Divine Hymn, and Penance were reduced by 15%, with this enchant rounding off what I used for rare enchants. The last enchant I used was Concentrated Holy Nova, a common enchant, times 3, which reduced the mana cost of Holy Nova by 15%, this being massive as Holy Nova is 1, a great heal, and 2, an easy way to do damage and get bonus heals off with Righteous Zealots. Furthermore, with Holy Ground and Emanate, Holy Nova is always healing for 5% more, as well as casting 2 heals per cast.
cast, with the Holy Ground Epic Enchant making it so that direct heals on allies within the Consecration Radiate to 5 nearby allies for 5% of the healing done as mentioned prior. Some abilities you're going to want to keep your eyes peeled for as you level are things such as Halo, Circle of Light, Divine Spirits, cooldowns such as Divine Protection and Hand of Protection are always great for healers, etc, etc. Though for those of you who are wondering what the talents look like for this build, those are linked in the description. If you guys have any questions, feel free to join my Discord, I'll link in the description, and ask, all are welcomed. Though boys, I'm going to quickly take this time to show you how the build operates, voicing over mythic dungeon footage I collected while dominating with this build. Starting off an engagement, I would usually charge in on the same target the tank does to make sure I was on him at all times, as the primary heals for this build are provided by Holy Ground, Holy Nova, Circle of Healing, Halo, with some instant cast flash heals being provided by the Surge of Light talent when needed. Meaning, staying on top of the party is important with this build. Other abilities such as Greater Heal, Penance, and Prayer of Healing will be woven into the rotation in engagements where allies begin to get chunked, as you will see when we jump off this bridge and start taking fat disease damage, resulting in me using Penance to heal the tank, then using Prayer of Healing to heal the party, and then damaging four nearby enemies by way of the Prayers of Penitent Epic Enchant, which then turn into a heal provided by Righteous Zealot. When engaging in AoE combat, be sure to use Circle of Healing on cooldown, as well as making sure your Consecration ability is always up, as it is extra damage and heals at all times. As for single target engagements, your job becomes much different, assuming you have a halfway decent tank, that is. In single target engagements, you keep the tank up using Greater Heal and Flash Heal while spamming Smite on the enemy. While spamming smite, you are healing your allies as well as helping progress towards the end of the dungeon. If your tank has a hard time holding aggro, there isn't much of a reason to stray away from your AoE rotation of spamming Holy Nova, Circle of Healing, and Consecration, etc, etc. Anyhow though, boys, if anybody in the comments section thinks they can improve upon this build in any way now understanding the concept behind it, I would love to see it. If you are able to for some reason create a version of this build that is better than mine, I will give that person a dealer's draft deck to either use or sell. Anyways, boys, with all the required information on the build now provided allow for me to show you guys some gameplay with it. Ladies and gentlemen, allow for me to introduce you to the greatest healing build that has ever graced Ascension. Okay, maybe maybe it isn't that great. Okay, maybe it isn't that great. Not only is it great heals, though, it is also great DPS, which makes it one of the greatest hybrids known to man. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating just a little bit. I, I don't have anything else to do while I wait for a fucking dungeon queue. 2,000 years later. Boys, we finally got a dungeon queue. Oh my god, thank you. So, boys, for our first dungeon, the team is Leo, Null, Troll, Shadow, Fang, Only Demon, and then, you know, the man, the myth, the legend, QJC. It's how it is. It's how it'll always be. I mean, it depends on actually what character I'm using. I'm using QJC. It just so happens. So, it, it's QJC right now. It might be Blonde Belly next video. Who knows? You know what I mean? God. You know, all I do know is that my heals are absolutely supreme. I'm gonna hit this guy with a penance, and then I'm gonna hit Mr. Null Troll with a prayer of healing, resulting in absolutely nothing because nobody's alive because my team is so fantastic. The damage is insurmountable. Oh, boys, we're already halfway through this dungeon, so you know what that means. I'm gonna have to wait a half an hour for another dungeon. <laughs> I'm excited for that one. Look at these. These bugs are getting squashed. I'm novaing them to death absolutely massive check you know you're never gonna see something like this again in your life most likely so i would i would appreciate it while you have it in front of you this is massive damage and this is massive heals oh it's kind of like that fell healer i did back in the day but it wasn't as good because fellborn's weak and stupid and ugly and they had decided not to <gasps> they re buffed the fell enchant all right, chat, we might have to mess with that again. If you want to see me mess around with the Felon Chance again on this channel, a like and subscribe would go a far, far way. Listen to me here. I'm telling you the truth, boys. I'm being honest. I'm not even paying all too much attention to my healing. I don't have to. Holy Nova's doing everything I needed to do. On top of the fact that my Consecration, or better yet, my Emanate, with Holy Ground is, is helping me increase my healing powers by 5%. Such a massive amount. Oh, I am running low, low on mana, though. But you know what? I have improved life tab times three, so with three life taps and I'm fine. Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy. Does somebody have pick lock? I swear to God, if nobody has pick lock. Okay, looks like he's doing something. What are you doing? You know what, honestly? How have I been running with this Leo guy this whole time and I haven't said anything to him about how cool he looks? One sec. Hello? 
As a result of me saying that to him, I'm way, way, way behind the pack, but it is okay. We will catch up. Everything will be fine as they go ahead and pull the boss. I swear to God, if something bad happens, you cannot blame it on me. I'm charging in, casting my circle of heal. Should have popped my concentration first since that's just a 5% increased heal. Why wouldn't you do that? Spam and Holy Nova. Divine Swarm in it. Hit him with a penance. Pop a prayer of healing. I got one penance out since there's only one enemy target, but that's fine. Prayer of the penitent's more of an AoE thing. Anyhow, boys, I am going to go ahead and end the video there within the greatest cheese shop in all of Stormwind, Tria's Cheese. After messing around with Righteous Zealot, I can definitely say this enchant is better than good. It is quite good, possibly even mythical status as of right now. That is until it gets nerfed. Nonetheless, if you had a laugh or learned something new, a like and comment are greatly appreciated. No pressure, of course. Have a great one, boys. I appreciate you.